Okay, thanks for joining us again for myth number three. Here we are, Chad. What have we got in this time? All right, so Barbara from Sydney wrote in a handwritten letter. It was, it was actually quite nice at this point. Oh, uh, thank you so much for the Australian <laughs> reference. She said, uh, you know, you're, you're born with natural talent or you're thank not. You. She wasn't referencing you specifically, <laughs> actually. Oh yeah, you're born with natural talent. Yeah, we're talking about in front of the camera. In front of the camera. I think a lot of people feel this, right? They're like, look, I I'm we not can't. made for TV. I don't want. I don't feel comfortable in front of the camera. Or I have a CEO or an executive that you know is not good in front of the camera. Uh, we can't all be Chad Lakin. And I'm going to be honest with you. Some people, they probably shouldn't be in front of the camera. That's the truth. Like, <laughs> some people just a stone cold boring, right? That's the reality. There is, however, a huge gradient from there. And most people that look like they're very, very good in front of camera have done it a whole bunch of times. To the same as shooting. You do it, you get used to it, you go again, you feel more comfortable. One of the tips I would give on a presenter level is if you are in front of camera, don't present the idea and the concept. It, it, is, it is not you on a stage speaking to an audience. And I've spoken with, or filmed, very, very high-end CEOs that are amazing on stage and captivating and bring in the audience and then just clam up right. in front of camera and they're hopeless. Or, or they just come across really badly because what you want to do on camera is pretend that down that lens is your best friend. You know, it's interesting too, we get asked this question a lot, especially when we're speaking at conferences too, like how do I, as a video creator, get the most out of my talent? People that are a little bit more um, non-engaging, a little bit boring. How do you make them feel comfortable? We talk about the fact that you need to start building a rapport with them as well and ask them things like, you know, what did you have for breakfast? What did you do on the weekend? Start decreasing those sort of barriers that they put up because you want that authenticity. To come. That's how Chad builds rapport with strangers. He goes, what did you have for breakfast? It's really weird at the bus stop, but you know, it, just, uh... you know I'm fascinated by <laughs> morning meal time. <laughs> No, it, it, it is a very good point. It's having that casual conversation. And I, I'm a cheesy dad, so I make cheesy dad jokes like, right, ready, we're going live to all news channels in three, two. And they sit like, the point is, we can cut all of this. We can fix it in post. You should see what this looked like before post. Oh, it's a dog's breakfast, let's Rubbish. be honest. Rubbish. Even the Brad Pitt filter. No, we didn't do that. So, we, we very, very much encourage people to get in front of camera, try it, relax. A very, very t uh, quick tip is breathe. Deep, big deep breaths and a smile before you come on camera. If you start speaking really quickly, then everything goes very red and you run out of breath. So that is something to look out for. The other thing is keep it casual. If you're having a conversation like this on camera and you stumble over some words, fine, keep yeah. going. We're all human. Authenticity plays a really important role in content nowadays. So don't feel like it has to be perfect all the way through. That slick video that you think you need to create, more often than not actually disengages from your audience. It's not relatable. The person watching it isn't slick, so let's let's just be real. We're definitely not slick. So I think we specialize busted. in not slick. Make sure you join us for the next myth to be busted.